Well, we love life coaches because they tell you you can be happy, healthy, and successful. Travis Brady is the coach of the life coaches. Do you believe everyone can be happy, healthy, and successful? Yeah, I truly believe everyone can be successful in what they want to be. I don't believe everyone will be, but I believe everyone has the potential for and, sure. And what stops people from that success? What stops people? I think the biggest thing before transformation can exist, before that there's a choice to transform, but before that choice there's an awareness. We have to become aware. And one of the things that I say is the most dangerous information is not the information you don't know. The most dangerous information is the information you think is right that is actually wrong. So you're stuck on those beliefs. So you're stuck on those beliefs. And so, like, I've been into golf lately, and I've been trying to hit this golf ball. And I, in my mind, I thought, no, this is the way you do it. You move your foot up and down. So I've been practicing this wrong process, hoping to get good results. And people do this in all aspects of their life. So really, you're just repeating something that's to your own detriment. Instead yeah. of learning, what would, what would be the correct step at that point? To, to ditch that belief, seek out some education? Yeah, you know, when I'm working with coaches and, and just people who are wanting to create transformation, you know, one of the first things I talk about is what's called the cycle and synergy of transformation. And so we have these experiences in our life, and through these experiences, we generate an identity of what we believe about ourselves. And that identity makes us feel something. From those feelings, it makes us think something. From those thinking, from thinking makes us do something, which then creates another experience, and we keep going around. So the first part I tell is we have to be aware of the current cycle that we're following right now in our life. Now when we're aware, we can make a choice to actually transform this part of, our, of the cycle. So step one, I totally agree with uh, you need to be aware of those things that are driving you, like those deep-seated beliefs in you that you maybe picked up in childhood or mm -hmm. along your career, maybe failure. But you say maybe failure could be a good thing in your process. Yeah, you know, it's, it's what we take from that experience. So when some people go through a failure, like uh, I work with a lot of speakers, and so they get up on stage, and not everyone welcomes their speech. They don't like it. And so the experience that they could take on and the identity maybe I'm not good enough. Yes, that's and, so And so, true. so that identity then starts a bad cycle, but if we can focus on, yeah, you know, I learned how to not do it r right. You know, I learned this, and this is what I took from it, and I am actually am good enough. Yeah. And I am good enough changes the way we feel. Yeah. The state, you hear Tony Robbins talk about this, what's your state, then it upgrades our thinking. Thinking goes to actions and then creates a new experience. And so now we just got to get that cycle rolling in the right direction. Okay, so yep. awareness and then tools to get to change that cycle. So what is your philosophy mm -hmm. in our last minute of this segment? Yeah, uh, my thing is the body impacts the mind more than the mind impacts the mind. So you see a lot of people and they say, oh, I need to know something or I need to learn this. And they get stuck in their head about all the information. I call it getting stuck in your magician. You feel like you need to know more tricks. And so really, it's about embracing your warrior and going out and doing it. They say body language is 60% of communication and what we're thinking and how we're saying is 10% and that's just one example of the body is stronger than the mind. So when we do, so it's a, I guess sum it up, when we do the action to support the belief, the belief increases. And okay, so, so that could go either way. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so mind affects the body, body affects the mind. So they're both shooting. Do you have an example of that like doing the action doing the action so you know something like going going to the gym and uh you know i want to i want to get into shape mm -hmm. and so the identity we take on is i am fit state fit thinking this is how many times i got to go to the gym actually committing to the gym or with a coaching standpoint is they want to be a speaker right or a coach then they got to start coaching or speaking immediately to increase that identity that I am a speaker and I'm a coach the more they wait mm. the more the mindset kind of drifts down that maybe I'm not a speaker maybe I'm not a coach hey that is brilliant okay we really need to get to this giveaway that you're doing and, yeah. and you help coaches become better if somebody wants to become a coach they come to you tell me about the giveaway and where to go to find you yeah so I have a online program it's called six steps to six figures so through my journey I've identified these six steps that really help a coach become better at the craft but also create a bigger income so if they go to nextgenerationalcoach.com um, I have some free resources free resources for them to do that awesome thank yeah. you Travis yeah. way good advice okay. we need to tackle those beliefs yeah. stick with us we'll be right back with more Utah State Fair